Click on the search button and search for game mode setting. If this setting is turned off, I highly recommend turning it on, since it will only help all of your games run better, not only League. After you've enabled game mode, head onto the graphics and here scroll down until you find League of Legends. Click it, go to the options and make sure high performance tab is selected to make sure League is running on the right GPU at all times. Now simply just click save and close the window. Next we're gonna disable the full screen optimizations, as the optimizations are not really great on Windows 10 or 11, so by disabling it, it will fix some of our problems. To disable full screen optimizations, just right click on your League of Legends desktop icon, then open file location, now on the navigation bar press Riot Games and then head into the League of Legends folder. Scroll down until you find League Client, then right click on it and go to properties, then open up the compatibility tab. On here just make sure disable full screen optimizations is ticked, then click apply, then ok for the settings to be saved. The next setting we are going to change is our power plant settings. To do that just go to the search bar and type choose a power plant. Once this window is open make sure to have the best performance or performance tab tick as this will give us the most performance our PCs can handle. Next up navigate to your search bar and type in msconfig and press enter. Inside of here we are going to the services tab. Now make sure you hide all the Microsoft services. This will hide all the Microsoft services so you don't disable something that's crucial for your PC to run. Now everything that is in here is a service that you install to your PC and some of them might just be running at all times and most of them are doing nothing. Now disable everything that you might not need. And to know what programs you need and you don't, make sure to check out the manufacturer tab which tells you what services is used for. For example, in my case I will disable Overwolf, Updater, Razer Game Manager and Synapse, Steam, Mozilla Maintenance Service, Epic Online Services and so on. But remember, not to disable everything, just find stuff that you no longer need. Now once we're done with services, head over to the Startup tab and click on the Open Task Manager button. Inside this tab, these are all the programs that are scheduled to boot up with your Windows the moment you log into your PC. The more programs you have inside of here, it will take longer to boot up your system. And unless you're closing these applications manually, they're using up resources, so that means more stuttering games, low FPS in some cases, and potential of game crashes and errors. As you can see on my PC, I have most of them disabled, and that's how your list should look as well. So go ahead and disable all the unnecessary programs that starts with your PC, because if you really need them to start up you can just simply boot them up yourself and they won't be taking any resources if you don't use them. I would recommend keeping only your antivirus and nothing else here. With that being completed exit out of the panel and go to your system configuration tab which should still be open. Once all that has been done click ok and it will prompt you to restart your PC in order for changes to be made. I would suggest you restarting your PC after we finish with all the tweaks in order for them to work properly. After all of that is done open up your league client login and open up the settings inside the client by clicking this little tool icon. Once this is open, first setting that we're going to enable is low spec mode, which will reduce visual fidelity in certain areas of the client but will significantly improve performance. If you're having problems with the client itself, not only the game, this option will help your client run smoother. Now head on to the game tab and make sure to tick DirectX 9 Legacy if you're running on an older computer or even on a mid-end PC. Test it out for yourself in practice tool, see how the game works for you and decide if you're going to keep it or not, as it is related to your PC specs and I can't really know what you're running, but in most cases enabling this will give you a couple of good frames and better performance overall. Next click done as we are finished everything in here then let's hop into a game to change our game settings. Now that we are in a game press escape on your keyboard open up the options menu then head over to the video tab. In here make sure to have the resolution with the start next to it as it is the best resolution for your PC to run normally. On the window mode make sure to have full screen selected at all times not boardless or windowed as they cause a lot of FPS drops and they are not as stable as the full screen option. A great tip here is to hide eye candy and disable the screen shake as they do take a few FPS and they are not really needed. Next up on the graphics tab I would recommend most of you guys to play on low or very low settings as even pros themselves play like that and it's not only for more FPS but you see things more clearly. But if you want a balance between visual fidelity and FPS I would recommend to go medium as character quality, environment quality on low, effects medium and shadows off. Moving on to the advanced tab, always frame cap your FPS based on your monitor refresh rate. If you don't know how to check your monitor refresh rate, go into your desktop, try click it and go to display settings. Now select your main monitor if you have more than one, scroll down to advanced display, click it, now you can choose the refresh rate. 
Select the last option as it is the best for your monitor and now just frame cap leak to a value next to your monitor refresh rate. So if you have a 120 Hz monitor, make sure to frame cap at 120 FPS. If you have a 144 Hz monitor, cap it at 144 FPS and so on. Moving on, anti-aliasing should be turned off for more FPS and wait for vertical sync should be always unticked as it never helps, it just makes the game a living hell. About the colors of your game on accessibility tab, you can do whatever, it will never impact your FPS. Now head into the interface tab, scroll down to health and resource bar and untick everything except show health bars. Notifications, I would recommend turning everything off and now scrolling down to the end where combat text is. I only use the gold text since it is the only text that you need. The damage text and all of the others are really unnecessary in most teamfights where you wouldn't see your enemies just because of the big numbers. Last but not least, the game tab, make sure to uncheck enable smooth camera as it makes the game lag a bit while moving your camera around, which gives you the feeling of stuttering. Well that was everything for today, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope these tips and tricks help you improve your gaming experience on League of Legends. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, happy gaming!